Fly from Aries, we're going to be looking at what action you need to take in this new year. Okay, so let's, we're doing this with the Work Your Light Oracle Cards, the action section of that deck. Okay, so let's get into it. Action card, one action card for Aries, please. What action does Aries need to take in this new year? There it is. Aries, fill up your well. Fill up your well. We're going to read this at the end. Okay, but it says retreat, rest and refuel. Okay. So let's have a look further into this why you need this. I mean, look, it has been a busy time, right? So tell me more about this for Aries. Cards all over the show. Anything else? Right behind my eyes. There. There we go. Okay, so let me pick these cards up, Aries. Okay, so what have we got here, Harmony? This here, I love this. I love this for the right at the beginning. This I feel like is what is there for you, right? It is what is there for you. Let me just turn all these over so we can get an overall picture of what is going on here for you, Aries. Okay. Cool. Okay, Aries, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. We've got, we've got this Harmony card here, and I've talked about this before, of bringing your, um, dropping all your thoughts into your heart, right? So that you can transmute them, so that they are not overtaking your life, okay? Because ultimately what is, um, at least what I found in my life is the best way for you to lead with your life is to lead from the heart, okay? So that's going to help you to go in the direction that is the best for you. Not everybody else around you, but the best for you, okay? The one thing I want to talk about here is intention. What is your intention, Aries, behind the way you are moving in life, okay? Is it to have something that is lacking within you fulfilled? Because if it is, then it's important for you to address what it is that you need to look at and make sure that you're fulfilling that yourself and not allowing someone else or not, sorry, relying on someone else to fill that for you. Okay, we have this aloneness card here. And um, I want to say here that there's some of you that have feel incredibly alone. <sighs> I guess Aries is about understanding that you on your own does not mean that you're alone, that you have your own company. So if you being on your own gives you this feeling of loneliness, then it's important again to see what is lacking in your life that needs to be filled. Okay, because this person here leads the way. They go through the dark, dark through the fog of the night with their own internal light leading the way they don't need anyone else to do that for them okay and um and this is what gives them harmony it's kind of like uh they know they've already worked out what it is that they need to do in order to get to where they need to go and and how to do that and i feel like that this is something that you can do for yourself that this this coming year and especially right now is to start focusing on okay what is it that i need to do to in order in order to be able to achieve that for myself what steps can i take this year work it out month by month week by week day by day if you have to what steps do i need to take to to get me to where i need to go okay so now we have guidance this is it, right? What guidance do we need in order to get us there? 
How do we find this out? Because it's very easy to sit here and say, oh, do this, do that. But how, the how is really the, the crux of it, right? So finding out how you can do that for yourself because the fact of the matter is it works different for everybody. So this is where it's important for you to work out what is best for you, okay? And this is really about your entire existence here, right? Understanding that you are one with everything. There is no separation. The only separation is of a visual nature, okay? And when you understand this, it's easier for you to tap into this inner light to shine the way so that you can, you know, this guidance here, it will end up being Aries that once you tap into this, you will be the guiding light. You will be the one who guides others, right? Sure, we all need that help every now and then in our life. But it is up to you at the end of the day to lead your own way rather than letting anyone else lead that for you. Okay. In a sense, you see this master here. He knows that the grasshopper has a lot to teach him. When he sits here with this grasshopper, he understands that the grasshopper is the teacher, not him to the grasshopper. He does not put himself above the grasshopper or see the grasshopper as less than. And this is where I feel like for you, it's going to be a year of learning. A year of learning to fill up your own cup, to fill up your own well. And really considering very seriously what you want that filled with and how you want that to look. So right now is a great time to contemplate that. Okay, look at this projections here. This is about dealing with the shadow self, I feel for you, Aries, about the parts of yourself that you keep hidden, the parts of yourself that you don't want anyone else to see, the parts of yourself that you project onto others without realising it because there's set things inside of you that haven't been dealt with yet that potentially you try to cover up with a happy face, but it's not, not, um, it's not as easy to do that when there's a lot of emotions that are being suppressed okay so I just feel like there's this need to get real with yourself and to get brutally honest not in a way that you beat yourself up but in a way that you're not prettying things up yeah the dream look at this the dream because I've just been drawn to these three cards here, right? The harmony that you seek, yeah? You have the dream here, and then you have these projections. It's almost like this is ruining the dream that you want, right? And it could be that you feel like you had the dream, and it's gone, and it's, it's these projections here that are getting in the way, standing in the way of reaching this goal, yeah? So in order for you to get to where you want to go, there are changes that need to be made throughout this year so that you can reach the state of harmony, okay? Because this is the Ten of Cups here, and this, I feel like, is the goal for 2024 for you. So, so you know, looking at how you can actually do that, we also have abundance here, okay? So this is something that you can achieve in your life. There's, there's things that you need to do in order to get here, but it is possible. You know, this is about you sitting in this energy of knowing that you have everything that you could possibly desire, rather than in the energy of feeling like you're missing out, because that potentially is getting in the way of you receiving what it is that is there for the taking. Yes, look at this stress, this ball of stress here. Okay, we also have awareness. And I absolutely love the, the major arcana that are coming up here because I just want to bring these together. Let me get them in order here. You see, all these cards here, these are major life changes. Okay, we have this aloneness, we have this existence. This is about you coming into your own, coming into your own intuition, 
tapping into your inner resources, okay, becoming aware of what it is that you you possess within you, understanding that we are all one, and, and given that, there is so much that you could learn of this little grasshopper here, there are so many things that you can learn from the little things, it doesn't have to be something major for you to be able to get something from it, okay, and, and potentially Aries, it really is necessary for you to start looking at all the little things that are going on in your life to get a bit of bigger picture, to get an overall picture rather than waiting for the one big thing to happen. Look at all the little things to give you clues as to which direction you should be he heading in. To give you clues as to maybe where you're relying on outside forces to fulfill the space within in that you feel is lacking. Okay, so this is crucial for you. All right, this awareness, allow it. Allow yourself to see. To see what you put in the shadows that you want to hide. Because this is a year of big transformation to lead to this harmonious state that you seek. In order to get there, the work needs to be done here, yeah? This stress, this gets in the way. These projections, they get in the way. Of you reaching that okay so this is where if we're looking at this card here retreat rest and refuel okay this is every time you feel like these are boiling up for you throughout this year here Aries go into this space let your inner light guide the way listen to what's inside of you as to what you need to do take the time for you, okay, because that is what you deserve, all right, so let's have a look at the book here, fill up your well, okay, so here we go, okay, Aries, retreat, rest, refuel, the most selfless thing you can do is fill up your own inner well, when we are running around half-filled, we subconsciously look to things and people around us to give us the nourishment and nurturing that we so deeply crave. Nothing can grow in barren lands. You are no good to anyone if you are running on empty. The feminine is bountiful, fertile and rich. Tend to your own well and watch it and watch as the amount you have to give multiplies. If your inner well isn't full, you will find yourself craving things from the outside world to fill it. This is our body's instinctive way of reaching for the grounding and nurturing that we are not allowing ourselves. What nourishes you? What refuels your body? What is nectar for your soul? What brings you back to life? What is your secret medicine? What makes you feel abundant and fertile? Overspilling with life. It may be gardening, arranging flowers, getting a massage, using luxurious essential oils, snuggling up on the couch, hiking, sipping a good coffee at your favourite favorite cafe, attending a woman's or men's circle, reading about sacred sites, spontaneous bike rides, walking along the beach, or yin yoga. What nourishes you is your medicine. When you give yourself the medicine that you need to be nourished, you nourish all those around you for there is more than enough to go around. So your action is do something to fill up your well every day. Okay? So yeah, and also the questions that this asks, replay this and go through and write down the answer to each of those questions, okay? Come back throughout the year and listen to this so that you can keep reminding yourself as to what it is that you need to do for the year to come. Okay, Aries, I'm going to leave that with you. You have the best year you have ever had. Make it that for yourself and take care of your beautiful self.
See you. Bye-bye.